Hello, Jordan Riddick here reporting. The topic today is big data. IBM has estimated that humans are creating data so fast that 90% of all data has been created within the last two years. Now that's a lot of bytes. But not only do the bytes that we create define us, but it's impressive and almost scary how data analysts can predict your decisions on basically anything. Because not only does data show what we do with our time, but how, when, and where we do it as well. Now this especially has big implications for politics. As discussed by three data specialists on Monday night in the Herg Auditorium in recognition of Big Data Day. The three panelists discussed the impact of big data on the elections this year and how the Obama campaign correctly utilized data to maximize their voter turnout and success rate. They discussed the importance of targeting certain audiences and how when done right, targeting can help one to apply his resources more efficiently. For example, the woman on the panel talked about how she was a data analyst for the Obama campaign in Ohio, yet she still received four Vote Romney campaign brochures in the mail when she obviously was not going to be swayed in any shape or form towards the Republican Party. She explained how, in contrast, the Obama campaign applied its resources and analyzed data to the consumer that was on the fence and didn't waste its money and resources on trying to get avid Republicans to vote for them. They also used the data they received to put the right message in front of the right people at the right time. And one may ask, well, how did they do this? And to be honest, the answer is a little unsettling. They persuaded cable companies to give out viewer information on when and on when certain people watch TV and what they were watching. Things like news station preferences and when they would change the channel if a certain ad would come on. They used this information to target indecisive audiences. For example, many Obama ads were run during college football games on the ESPN networks because college viewers would be more likely swayed in the direction of the Democratic Party in response to ads that the Obama campaign would run, such as lowering college tuition and things like that. On another note, the panelists also explained how if one is not good at interpreting data, it is important for them to at least have a base knowledge on how to present the information giving them, given them. Someone in PR or advertising should know enough about data to be able to interpret it into words and present it to audiences in case scientists or engineers aren't as inept to public speaking. It is also good for PR majors to be able to know what audiences to target with the given information. It's about using the data to know who to target and how to get them to do what you want and to empower them to make a change and ultimately succeed in your plan to take over the world. But not really. But that's all I have for tonight, so thanks for listening.